Welcome to the third and final storyline player review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Yannick Carrasco and giving my opinion on whether he's the best avail option available to you. So let's get into his card. Uh, first thing that catches my eye with Carrasco's card is the full star skill moves and the full star weak foot which he has. As in my opinion full star skills and full star weak foot is crucial at uh, this late stage of FIFA. I feel anything lower than full stuff full stuff really does turn me off the card. Uh, On to his work rates, I think high medium work rates for a central attack midfielder is, well, perfect to be honest, can't really ask for much more. They are the ideal work rates that you'd want. Getting on to his stats now. Uh, I also decided to add an engine chem cell to my Carrasco as I do feel this is what suits him best as an attack midfielder. Uh, his pace, obviously, with an engine chem cell has been maxed out to 99, making him the quickest he can possibly be. His shooting for a cam is just exceptional. You know, the two main important stats being shot power, which is 93, and long shots, which is 85. However, Krasko do does also have the ability uh, to get himself in good attacking positions and also finish off any chances that he gets, as he does have 88 attack positioning and 88 finishing. Uh, Carrasco's passing has been upgraded to 91 with this engine cam so, uh, with now him having 91 short pass and 91 long pass. Uh, he is also a free kick specialist if you're looking for one. Uh, 99 free kick accuracy with an engine cam so. Uh Anyway, moving on to his dribbling, this is just truly phenomenal for a free card. Uh, 98 dribbling with the engine cam still applied to him. Can't ask for much more. Obviously, moves up to 99 agility, 86 balance, which is more than bearable at this stage in the game. Uh, 93 reactions, which is good for a key stat uh, that suits the meta this year. Uh, ball control and dribbling, 99 maxed out. He should feel really smooth on the ball. Uh, the only stat really letting him down is his composure. Uh, I'm hoping this stat does sort of slide under the radar as it would be a very big shame to see this one average stat kind of ruin his whole card uh, and also Carrasco does have 85 stamina which is a uh, well it's perfect for a central attack midfielder it just means that he's able to see out games and get through them Right then, I'm now going to jump into some gameplay that I managed to capture with this Carrasco. Uh, right then, yeah. as we load into the first game, we do match this very solid team. Uh, team of the Acante, Foot Birthday St. Maxime, a storyline of KG, and a Pride Moments Mike Cloudrup. This is going to be a hard match. Uh, so we pick it off, Eggstein in the middle of the park, sends a through ball down to Lewandowski, who does get it back to Carrasco. Carrasco refines Lewandowski with a through ball. Lewandowski with a little ball roll, pulls it back, Carrasco hits a fake shot and uh, misjudges it. Uh, Carrasco plays it to Lewa, little uh, drag back there and sends a through ball to Carrasco. And Carrasco's balance really letting him down there, if you ask me. Uh, Carrasco has it on the edge of the box. Luckily Lewa can regain possession and play it back to Carrasco to have a pot shot and it's just saved. Now heading into the second game. Um, yeah, another really solid team down in Division 3. The Footbird Aiden Hazard. The trademark duo Neymar and Mbappe. Van der Sar. Uh, Man Alas, Footbird Day. Amari Footbird uh, Anyway, Lewandowski gets the ball, plays it into Carrasco. Carrasco, 1 2, back low up. Slightly misjudged through ball, but. Yeah. Uh, Danny De Costa running down the line, pulls it back, and Yannick, Yannick Carrasco is there to finish it off. I believe that is his first goal for the club. So, yeah, an incredible start for him. Frankie De Jong picks the ball up in the middle, plays it to Lauer. Lauer plays it back to Gennaro Gattuso, who slides it back into Timo Werner. Timo Werner with a little drag back, plays it into Eggstein. Uh, Werner, nice link up play in the middle with Carrasco there. And, of course, Robert Lewandowski will finish his chances that he does get. Uh, Gattuso wins the ball there in the penalty spot, drills it out to Carrasco, Carrasco driving with the ball now. Uh, so, um, starts getting caught up by the defender, so pulls back, slice it in the middle to Lewandowski. He does put it back to Carrasco, Carrasco with a little fake shot, pulls it back to Werner, who does manage to somehow screw in the ball in the back of the net. 
Uh, Egg on his ball in the middle of the park. Plays it to Carrasco. Gets it to Lewa. Back to Carrasco. Out wide to Frankie De Jong. Who does play it back to Carrasco. Who centres it to Gennaro Gattuso. Brilliant link at play in Lewandowski. Hits the back of the net as per usual now. We do win this game. 4-2. Uh, brilliant game. Brilliant result. Carrasco. Can't really complain about him that game. I think he was one of the better players on the field then. Uh... As shown with the match rating, which is coming up now. Yeah, 8.9 match rating for Yannick Carrasco. Not a bad second game at the club. And a performance in which hopefully that he can build. Right on. then, I've now played enough games with Carrasco to uh, build an honest review about him. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to get into the stats of his cards and obviously see how he performed. Uh, Obviously, I did play five games with this Carrasco, and he managed to get two goals and one assist during his time, uh, which is fairly decent, I'd say. Uh, bearing in mind, every single game that he was played in was Division 3. Uh, division 3 being a very solid division, I'd say. I'm slightly at my depth in that division. But I think Carrasco did perform decently well in that division. Um, you can obviously see that uh, in the gameplay is a, is a balance and his uh, composure were, did let him down slightly. But as far as the card goes, he's decent for a free option. Uh, in my opinion, I don't believe he's the best option available for you. But he does the job. Uh, he's very easy to link into teams. And he's a very good attacker midfielder as far as free guards go. Uh, obviously replacing Prime Nedved, who I did have there before him. But I had to sell because of the team of the season market crash. Uh, I didn't want to lose too many coins there. Uh, and that is the end of the video. Uh, if you want to check out the two other play reviews that have been done by Axe and Kian on Balotti and Fred, you can go and check them out. Please like and subscribe for future content like this. Thank you for watching.